The Kingdom of Ndongo The Kingdom of Ndongo, which is based in modern-day Angola, was an early modern African state. This state was one of many states of the Kingdom of Congo, but this was the most powerful, with a king called the Angola. This state had its own traditions, and the founder of the state, Ngola Kilwanje, who was also known as Ngola Inene, was an immigrant from Congo and a chief of the Kimbundo-speaking ethnic group. Social and political structure in Ndongo. Known as the land of Mbundu, the Kimbundu-speaking region was divided into approximately 736 political units ruled by the Sobas. The Sobas had territories known as Marinda, which were groupings of villages which surrounded a central town known as Mabanza. Political groups, known as the Kanda, were part of large units and in some cases provinces. There were probably larger kingdoms in the past, but in the 16th century, these regions were united by the rulers of Ndongo. The capital city of Ndongo was known as Kabasa, which was located near modern-day Ndolotando. This town held approximately 50,000 people in a densely populated district. The Kingdom of Ndongo and the leaders of the provinces ruled with a council of nobles known as the Mokota, an administration headed by the Tendala, a judicial figure and military leader known as the Nukolambole. The ruler in Ndongo had a large group of bureaucrats with a quartermaster known as the Kelunda with similar officials known as the Mwene Kudja. The Rise of Ndongo A Portuguese mission occurred at the Kwanza River in 1560 which was spearheaded by Paulo Dias de Nove who was the grandson of Bartolomeu Dias. He came with a few priests such as Francisco de Juvea. This mission failed and Dias de Nove went back to Portugal in 1564, leaving Gervais behind. In 1571, Dias de Nove had another mission to take over what they called the Kingdom of Angola and to build forts, govern the region and bring in settlers. He couldn't gain any territory of his own and Dias de Nove made alliances with Congo and Ndongo to serve as a mercenary army. By 1579, Nijinga, Nidambi, Kilomba, Kiakasenda was advised by Portuguese merchants who settled in Congo that Portugal wanted to take over the country. Nijinga went on to trick Portuguese forces to an ambush and killed them all at the capital. In 1590, the Portuguese attacked Ndongo and sent an army against Kabasa. Ndongo had an alliance with the Matamba and the Portuguese army was crushed. Building on defeating the Portuguese army, Ndongo made a counterattack and the Sobas, who were pro-Portuguese, returned to Ndongo. 